Shaul, Sol, and Ramon Rosanas put Luke on a path back towards Darth Vader as the hero races to Jakara to aid his friends in retrieving Han Solo, but he begins to question his every move and if he even is ready to face his father again. Charles Sol continues building off the recent war, the Bounty Hunters issue, this time telling it from Luke's perspective and doing some great character work with him as we explore more of the man's state of mind after his big fight from The Empire Strikes Back. I really liked Luke going over the incident in his mind over and over and how he could have done things differently, maybe if he stayed with Yoda or if he had learned more, and I like that his doubt and fear in himself keeps clouding his mind and blocking his view of the Force and making it a little bit hard for him to actually work with the Force. Sol also focuses on the desperation of Leia, who is determined to get Han Solo now despite all of the forces against them, from Crimson Dawn to Darth Vader and the various other gangs that want them all dead, up to a point where Lando becomes a voice of reason in the group, which was a great change of pace and something a little different since when you think Lando you don't think of him as being kind of the rational one. Ramon Rosanas continues his great artwork, giving us some really fun new aspects of Vader and Luke's duel from Empire Strikes Back and all of the what ifs Luke goes through in his head. One thing I really appreciated was he also made Jabba el Hutt's original design, which was a human with mutton chops, canon again as he was the leader of the ship that Luke buzzes throughout the issue. It was a nice little addition and I really appreciated it and I appreciate when artists and writers are allowed to do stuff like that and make things canon again. Star Wars issue 16 was another great installment in the War of the Bounty Hunters, exploring Luke's fear and doubt as he heads towards another possible encounter with his father, as well as exploring the desperation Leia is feeling in wanting to get Han back any way possible. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Star Wars issue 16 sees Luke racing through hyperspace towards Jakara, telling R2 he's gone through the battle at Cloud City through his head a hundred times, saying it was like fighting a storm, reminding him of the gravel storms of Tatooine and how they could strip you down to your bones. He knows it was more than a lightsaber duel since Vader didn't just fight him with a saber, he used everything. He knows Vader could hit him from any side, ripping machines from the walls and throwing them at the Jedi, and he used the force to knock him off balance as his saber was also constantly there, always pushing past his defenses. He says it took everything he had to keep Vader off of him, since every move Yoda taught him was just thrown back in his face twice as hard. Luke knows that'll be the last time that ever happens since he's learned, imagining himself being the storm, as well as using Vader's tricks against him, cutting off the Sith's hand. He says that he is sorry he has to do this before he raises his saber for a killing blow. But Vader grabs his hand, saying that is why he'll fail, as he uses Luke's saber to kill him. Luke knows that he's kidding himself though, and Yoda was right when he left Dagobah, and he still is, and so is Vader. Luke isn't a Jedi yet. Luke knows that the Dark Lord is waiting for him on Jakara and the Force has made that very clear, but Leia and Chewie won't be able to handle him and he has to help them, but he needs advice. He tries to reach out to Obi-Wan Kenobi through the Force, but he can't feel him, knowing that he's barely touching the Force though and he feels a static through it. He knows what's keeping him from the Force though, his fear. Kira meanwhile battles Darth Vader, who recognizes her fighting form and Kira knows then he's in trouble. Leia spots the woman asking Lando who it is, so Lando tells her all about Kira, having known her once and so did Han. He thought that maybe she had gotten free from Crimson Dawn but it looks like she went in another direction. Leia knows that they have to get to Han before he's hacked apart by those two but Lando knows that if they go down there, chances are that they'll be hacked apart and if it's not Vader or Kira who does it, it will be one of the many other gangs down there as well and not to mention Boba Fett is still running around somewhere and he almost killed Chewie and set him on fire and that's too much heat for Lando. Leia calls Lando a coward but the man says that he's no fool and even Chewie agrees with him and he's Han's best friend. Lando says that there are a lot of big fish down there and Vader is the biggest of them all and Kira is holding her own against him and that's something, but odds are that she'll get herself killed and Vader will then leave with Han, so they need to be smart about this and they can't make this happen right now, so they need to wait and find another way and pick their moment. Leia says that she is picking this moment and they are too close to Han to let him get away, but she knows Lando was right not being able to stop Vader, but they have a secret weapon. Leia contacts Luke, asking if he's 
close since Vader is there just like he warned them about, and they need to stop him from taking Han. She knows that Vader wants Luke more than anything else, wondering if the man can distract him and hold him off just long enough so they can get Han out of the Carbonite, get him aboard the Falcon and get out of there. After a moment, Luke agrees, saying that he's just arriving from hyperspace and he should be there unless he runs into any trouble. Luke however runs into the Super Star Destroyer Executor in orbit above Jakara, wondering how he'll get past it. On the Executor, Admiral Peart is alerted to Luke arriving, thinking it's just another criminal joining the party, hoping Vader orders the extermination of the vermin down on the surface. His officer tells him that it's a single rebel X-Wing, so he orders a wing of TIE sent out to push it towards the tractor beams so they can catch it and interrogate the pilot. Luke is attacked by the TIEs, ordering R2 to put the shields up and to find him a targeting solution since he can't fight them all at once. He knows he can't just beeline it down to the planet since they will tail him down and he won't be able to land. He tells R2 that he's got to get a way out of this one way or another as his x wing is shot by the tires as he soon spots one of the other gang's ships nearby. Knowing most of them hate the Empire as much as the Rebels so he wants to give them an excuse to an attack. Luke pilots the damaged x wing down towards the other ships telling R2 to reroute the systems to try and pull them out of the dive as on the Dark Syndicate a gang member asks his boss if they should fire. The gang leader says they won't until the Empire gives them an excuse to and soon the tires begin shooting at Luke but missing hitting the ship so so he knows that's good enough for him, ordering his ships to scramble and take down the Empire's ties. The crime syndicate's ships leave the hangar, catching the ties in a crossfire and Luke is able to slip through the battle, racing down towards Jakara. Leia tells Luke to hurry since time is running out as Lando doesn't know if Kira deserved better, but he wishes it went another way for her as she is defeated by Vader. He tells Chewie that the woman brought this on herself and he's not throwing his life away for her since she wouldn't do it for him or Chewie. Vader tells Kira that it's a pity that her skills are wasted, knowing that she was a fool to ever challenge him. Suddenly, he senses Luke as Admiral Peart obliterates the Sun Tull Pride with the Executor. Peart is impressed with his men's shots, knowing that the Empire tolerates the scum's existence because they serve a purpose, but that doesn't mean they may do as they please. Sometimes they have to scrape the scum from their boots. The officer soon gets a message from Vader concerning the X-Wing and Peart knows that he will send more fighters for it, but the officer says that Lord Vader requests he establish direct communications link with him and the pilot. Peart knows that that makes no sense, but the officer says that according to his message, Message, Vader wants the pilot alive. General Ramotti meanwhile tells Vader that Peart has secured a connection to the X-Wing and Vader contacts Luke, telling him that they have some unfinished business. Luke is terrified as Vader says that he has Captain Solo and Luke will come to him and if he does not, he will cut Solo in half. Luke imagines the same thing happening to him back on Bespin as Leia says they need Luke since Vader will kill Han. Luke already knows but he says he is sorry but he's not ready to face Vader yet, turning his X-Wing around. 